couples who are facing difficulty conceiving, 40% or more of the time it is because of fertility troubles attributed to the male. Let's define the problem, talk about the magnitude of it, and why you say that men should be screened first. Well, 15% of all couples are infertile, and 40% of the time it's a pure male factor, 40% a female factor, and 20% it's a combined problem. So that means in more than half of all infertile couples, the male at least is a contributing factor. Okay. That's a total of two and a half million men at the minimum who are infertile. Okay, let's talk about the major causes of male infertility right. and quickly what you do for those major right. causes. Well, you'd asked um, about the, uh, why the male should be screened first because it's so easy to screen mm -hmm. the male. All the male has to do is give a specimen into a cup and have it examined by a laboratory. Mm -hmm. The most common cause of male infertility is a condition that men are born with a propensity to called varicocele, which is enlarged, twisted veins that drain the blood from the scrotum. And the answer to that is basically surgery. Yes, microsurgery okay. that we do now is an extremely effective method of uh, treating this on an outpatient basis. Second cause? Blockages, blockages okay. of the duct system. Sperm are made inside the testicle and then they have to leave the testicle through an intricate series of little tiny mm -hmm. ducts. And these ducts are very susceptible to damage by venereal diseases and even by surgery performed for other reasons such as hernia operations. In addition, 15 million men in this country have had vasectomies. And the divorce rate being 50%, the most common cause of blockage currently is vasectomy. Which is now very reversible. Very reversible. Microsurgical techniques that we've developed and pioneered at our institution now enable most men after vasectomy to have a child. Be fooled by a recent study that says New York men have the highest sperm counts in the nation. Experts say that information is misleading. That's because worldwide men are down for the count when it comes to the number of sperm they carry. Nancy Liu tells us why it is happening in this special report tonight. In fact, uh, this has occurred to such an extent that the World Health Organization has lowered the standards for what they consider normal. In other medical news tonight, new help for couples who desperately want to start a family. Dr. Peter Salgo reports on a new procedure that can cure some cases of male infertility. You're looking at the end of a story, a happy ending as it turns out. And their doctor, Cornell urologist Mark Goldstein. Dr. Goldstein and his colleagues around the country have perfected an operation that allows some infertile men to become fertile again. The operation corrects a common problem in men called a varicocele. A varicocele is dilated, enlarged, abnormal veins draining the testicles. The operation to get rid of the abnormal veins takes about 20 minutes and can be done with local anesthesia in the doctor's office. If a man is already infertile and he has a varicocele repair, the fertility rate after the operation, after two years, is about 50%. Three months after Duane's surgery, Vanessa used a home pregnancy test and discovered she was pregnant. When I saw that line, I just, I just broke down and cried, and, and my wife did. It's before the hour. One out of every six couples today is being told they cannot conceive children. And increasingly, the source of the problem is infertility in the man. In fact, there are now two and a half million infertile men in the United States. So in this week's edition of To Your Health, we've invited Dr. Mark Goldstein to discuss the causes of this problem and what can be done about it. What yes. causes those problems? Well, the most common cause of infertility in men is a condition of varicose veins in the scrotum called varicocele. Right. This is a condition that's present in 15% of all men, but it's present in 40% of infertile men and present in 80% of men who are fertile when they're younger and then lost their fertility as they became older. And I gather the treatment for that is microsurgery. Yes. How? We get answered.